Having heard the word read and proclaimed, now let us stand and affirm what it is that we believe. This morning, using an affirmation of faith from the Iona Abbey worship book in the side panel of your bulletin. Friends, what do we believe? We believe in God, who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the Word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope, in life, in death, in life beyond death. God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. Amen. You may be seated. As a community of faith, we commit to holding one another in prayer. Today, I ask for your prayers for the family of Ann Zicola. Ann died this past Thursday, and services are still pending at this time. But please keep Bob and the entire Zicola family in your prayers. Now won't you join your hearts with mine in prayer. God of creation, send your spirit among us. In these crisp, almost winter mornings and the early dark evenings, show us your light. From the mountains to the valleys, the deserts to the plains, guide us to care for your world that you so wonderfully created. Creation is one of the ways we experience you in our midst, O oh God. Don't let us miss your presence among us. God of Advent, send your spirit among us. Help us to see the new beginnings that you create in each of us every day. Remind us of our blessings, but challenge us to be bold, to loosen our hands around our greatest gifts. Teach us to share and give us courage to live faithfully and with your hope. God of healing, send your spirit among us. Be with those who are hurting in ways that we can and cannot see. Put compassion in our hearts that we might reach out to those near and far from us that need your healing touch. Show us the way to care for one another, especially those who are grieving among us. We pray for the Zicola family and ask that you be with Bob and their entire family as they remember Anne. And for all those who are brokenhearted this morning, dear God, help to bring together their communities of love and support that we might be the church for one another. God of peace, send your spirit among us. Help us to set aside our differences, to find areas of common ground, to continue to listen and to talk to one another, even when it is hard. Let peace begin with us and help us to spread that peace across the entire world. Holding all of these things in our hearts, we lift our prayers to you, great God, the ones spoken aloud and the ones that we hold closest to our hearts, ones that we can shout to you, and ones that are so desperate we can only move our lips. And with all the saints, let us boldly pray together the prayer your son taught us to pray, saying, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power in the glory forever. Amen. And in gratitude to God for all that we have, and with open hands, let us give generously of ourselves as we collect this morning's offering. <laughs> 